My name is William Goit. I'm a licensed acupuncturist and I've been helping people get healthy and stay healthy since 1986. You may know me as Professor Chi. Today, I want to talk to you about thoughts. What are thoughts? Are the thoughts that are crossing your mind yours? Or do you attract these thoughts? I was hearing this physicist talk the other day that they were actually finding evidence that thoughts come from outside of you. Now, this is something that is commonly thought of in, as, as a fact in many um, other cultures other than the modern Western culture. Um, in, in Hinduism and Taoism, uh, thoughts are considered something that we harbor that the brain is nothing more than an, a way, the, uh, an assessment tool, a tool for assessing the information that's coming through the five senses. This information comes in through the five senses and it gets into the brain and the brain makes guesses about what this information is. We start mulling it over and then we say, oh, I gotta, I've, I've thought of something. But did these thoughts actually originate in the brain? Or is it a type of energy, a higher frequency energy that we pick up on perhaps even more than uh, in, in, a, in a way that's even beyond the five senses, which I believe to be true. I feel that thought starts as inspiration. And inspiration is a high frequency wave of energy that has yet to become a particle and we get it through the breath. We inspire, we breathe in this high frequency energy in the breath. Then this, it, is, it is like a, a bunch of information because that's how inspiration is, isn't it? You get it all at once and you have this inspired idea. This idea is the beginning or the parent of thought. We get this inspired feeling and it's really a feeling much more than it is a thought. We then imagine what that thought is. Then that imagination, depending on how brave you are, you gather some of that and you inspire, you, you imagine it to be something, you put an image around that. That image becomes intention. And through intention, we have an original idea. Now, many people go through their lives and they never come up with an original idea. You know, they just, just tell me what to do next. You know, they read stuff and they believe that. They're told by religious leaders or political leaders that this is what you're supposed to think, and they do. We're like that. Human beings are actually very trusting animals. We're trusting souls. We trust what is told to us. And few of us, some of us, are brave enough to imagine something different, to have original thought. And this original thought comes from inspiration. Now, I am imploring you to think clearly about what thought is, what your thoughts are. And do you need to believe them? Because belief is very powerful. And if we want to believe everything that we're told, we're going to be manipulated left and right by, by religion, by politics, by the people that want to sell you things, by all the information that's coming into you through the internet and the, the media that's just non-stop. So we need to be very careful about what we allow in. We are taught that to project outward and we spend all of our time projecting our energy out into the world and creating a third dimensional reality that we believe is the only thing that's happening. The truth of the matter is, who you really are and the real world that you live in is deep inside of you. And it's a world of inspiration and imagination and enthusiasm and excitement. But we get caught up in the ideas about ourselves that we believe 
and that we allow other people to reinforce. So pay attention to what you allow to come in. We're not really taught about this because again, we're all we we're taught to project outward. Pay attention to well, what you allow in. Realize that what you allow in are not your thoughts. You're just thinking of them. And that the original thoughts that you have, the good inspired feelings that you have about your life, cling, cling on to those. Cling on to the ideas that you know to be true. Cling on to the deep rooted feeling of who you are and why you're here. Hold on to that. Have the courage to imagine something new out of that and create your life around that rather than just the ideas and propaganda that, that keep coming to you through the media. Just because it starts going around and around in your mind doesn't mean you have to hold on to it. Thoughts come and they go. Don't take them so seriously. Take the inspiration that comes to you, the feeling that seems bigger than you. That is what is important. Hold on to those inspired feelings have the courage to imagine something good out of that and step forward and intend a better life for yourself today.